We worship by giving God thanksgiving and praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. I will tell of all thy wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O Most High. We worship by giving God glory. With all my heart, I will praise you. O Lord, my God, I will give glory to your name forever. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Let's worship by giving God awe and reverence, acknowledging him as the Lord and creator of all. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. All the nations you have made shall come and bow down before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. We worship by giving God blessings. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts. So I am helped and my heart exults, and with my song I give thanks to him. We worship by giving him exaltation, by raising and elevating the magnitude of his dignity, by exalting his glorious magnificence. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Worshiping by giving him service, by giving our hearts, our time, our gifts, and our lives in serving him. If it is disagreeable in your sight to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves today whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served, which are beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you are living. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We honor him by giving him worship. True worship rises up from the people of God who are choosing to intentionally express his infinite worth. Honor the Lord for the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. For God is the spirit, so those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Happy Sabbath, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of Sabbath School and Music Fest. Thank you, ladies. That was well done. Well, I want to welcome you also to Sabbath School today. And uh, listen, I am a big believer in Sabbath School programs. I know you would expect that from any pastor. Uh, but I, I, I remember those days when um, I was just getting into church life as an independent adult. And the Sabbath School program was very important to me as I learned how to, to be involved in, in, in church life at that level. And I can reflect back to those days when I was just a little kid, and week after week, my parents bringing me to the Sabbath school and all the valuable lessons that I learned through that program. And it's something that we as Seventh-day Adventists cherish. And uh, so not only do I want to welcome you to our Sabbath school program, but, uh, but I want to thank you for coming too and supporting these young people as they learn uh, to interact with their church in this manner. It's a, it's a great lesson for them. And of course, I'm speaking mainly to our local members here today, but of course, we want to encourage anybody who would like to support the Sabbath School program financially. Uh, this is going to be an opportunity for you. I'm going to invite our deacons to come forward. We don't want to miss an opportunity to pick up our Sabbath School offering. Uh, our Sabbath School expenses are usually higher than people realize, so the printed materials and all the things that we need, but I think it's money well spent, and I want to thank you in advance uh, for your, genera uh, your generosity. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to gather in this place this morning and to um, uh, just to enjoy the, the talents that you have richly given these young people. And I pray that as we sit here and, and reflect on your goodness, that um, our hearts will be uh, inspired and uh, that we will leave this place changed as a result of our gathering. And Lord, as we uh, return our, our, our offerings here today, as we support the Sabbath School program, we would ask that you would bless these funds and help it to, um, to further the work that you intend. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.
Um, this is our pre-K through fourth grade choir from Highland Elementary this morning. They're going to sing two songs for you, and uh, we're so glad they could be here with us today.
Sabbath. We're so grateful that you're here this morning. Uh, when the K-4 choir was singing, I was just thinking that music education begins as soon as possible. And we are so happy for the Highland Elementary School. They did fantastic. Right now we'll be playing a sonata, a Handel sonata in G minor by, uh, by Handel. And this is uh, with my friends Aaron. Aaron is a senior. Aaron plays the cello, the piano, the tuba, the violin. He sings, tap dances, and anything you can imagine. <laughs> Same thing, Mrs. Roth. Most of you know Kimberly Roth. She does the same. She's a fantastic person. She's a terrific asset for our school. She plays the piano, the violin, and we are really honored and happy. We enjoy making music together. A couple of times we got together and just played a little thing, and we're going to share that with you.
We are the Greenville Adventist Academy from Greenville, Tennessee. Excited to be here with you for Music Clinic. Dr. Chun Study has been uh, so gracious as to come to our school and spend some extra time with our kids, which we're so gracious for. And so we're delighted to share some of the stuff we've learned. Thank you.
Our next performance will be by the fifth and sixth grade from Highland Elementary School, and they performed this uh, recently for Education Sabbath, and so they've been asked to do it again.
remind me once again just who I am because I need to know. Adventist education is a sisterhood of schools all over the place. And for those of us who have had the privilege of being involved with it, all we get to think about is how blessed we are, especially in music. In addition to our sister schools, the music becomes a factor that builds bridges among young people, among schools, among our churches, and everything we do. Many, many, many years ago, I was just fresh out of college, just trying to find what to do. And then my cousin invited me, let's go sing. There's a 
big shotgun doctor that is working on a requiem by Brahms, which for musicians, it's, it's one of those choral pieces that you wish you could attempt to sing. It's not only difficult, but it's in, a, it's in German, and if you don't handle the German, it makes it harder than the music itself. And it was Dr. Chan Studi. That's what, how I got introduced to him. And I didn't know that either, but I saw a young lady who was playing the piano. I said, my goodness, that lady can't play. If you can play the orchestra reduction to the piano for the Brahms, you really know how to play the piano. You know who that was? That was Anne. What is Anne? She stepped out. And Anne now works in Adventist education as well in music. Dr. Chen Studi has a distinguished career in choral music and in, in many other ways as well, of course, but those of us who know them in music. Uh, personally, I know lots of young people who train under him and who are teaching right now in our schools. Is that correct, Dr. Chen Studi? What a privilege that is. So we are really, really blessed to have somebody of the professional caliber, personal caliber, as Dr. Chen Studi. I would like to have a round of applause for Mr. Chen Studi. <laughs> Greenville Academy, you guys were awesome. Keep it up, keep it up, fantastic our pride and joy in our school, the Highland Choir. We're gonna be singing for you three songs. One is Eternal Life by Olive Dungan, and another song that is very meaningful to me since the first time I heard it many years ago, He Loved Me by Tom Fetke. And time permitting, which I think it will be, we'll play a medley of You Are My All in All and Fairest Lord Jesus.
God chose us to be his very own before the creation of the world. He decided then to make us holy in his eyes without a single fault. We who stand before him covered with his love. His unchanging plan has been to adopt us into his own family by sending Jesus Christ to die for us. And he did this because he wanted to.
Pastor Will. <clears throat> Pastor Will is the Bible teacher and the chaplain at Highland Academy. My faithful Father, enduring friend, your tender mercy like a river with no end, it overwhelms me. Covers my sin each time I come into your presence. I stand in wonder once again. Your grace still amazes me. Your Still a mystery each day. I fall on my knees, cause your grace still amazes me. Your grace still amazes me. Still a 
mystery each day I fall on my knees your grace still amazes me your grace still amazes What a blessing. And we're just getting started. We're going to take about a 10-minute break, and then we're going to gather our children from the various divisions and meet back in here. We have a special guest with us, Pastor Greg Taylor, and I am so looking forward to his message today. So about a 10-minute break.